everyone, welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, I am a big coffee lover. If you haven't noticed that by now, you haven't been watching my videos enough. That's all I'm gonna say. I have quite the mug collection, as probably most coffee lovers do, and I thought that I would share them with you today. Thank you, Christopher164, for suggesting this video. It was a very good idea, and once he suggested it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I totally have to do this now. Why didn't I think of this myself? Very excited, I have quite a few I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have like twelve to show you today. So grab your coffee and let's get started looking at my mug collection because I know that you all want to see it. Like, I know. These are not part of the video today, so let's just move those out of my way. I bought those recently at a thrift store and <laughs> it's time to start another pile on the floor because. I have nowhere to put them. So I feel like I'm forgetting some of my mugs, but these are all the ones that I can find, all of them, except for one that I do not have because it is a Christmas mug. So it is packed away out in the shed in the backyard because we do not have enough space to keep a Christmas mug in the cabinet when I'm not gonna use it until winter. So I am not about to go out and get it because I don't know where it is and that would be a lot of trouble. But just know it is a very cute mug. One that Levi, my little brother, gave me for Christmas one year. And it says, um, Sisters Are Snow Special. And it has a snowman on it. And it's a really big red mug. And it has a little light stir spoon that goes with it and like goes inside the handle. And it is like the cutest thing and my favorite thing in the winter. One of the other mugs that I have is this Easter mug that my mom gave me. She has bought many of my mugs. And for different special occasions, she has given me different mugs and speaking of which I actually have another Valentine's Day mug that she got me really cute it had little red hearts on it and the handle like broke off when that mug is no longer with us but this is an Easter mug that my mom got me a couple years ago for Easter I love it it is super cute it has little flowers and hearts and Easter eggs with like polka dots and it's got all these pastel colors and the like, yellow handle it's very cute I like the tall mugs and like the style of it then I have this Valentine's Day heart Starbucks mug that Levi got me. He also is a um, big supplier of my coffee mugs. This one's super cute. It has like the golden air on it and this one's one of my favorites. Another mug from my mom for Valentine's Day after the first mug broke the like next Valentine's Day or whatever she got me this one and it has a heart handle so it is like super cute. Also one of my favorites. Mug number four is this mug that my mom got me for no really special occasion I don't think. She might have gotten me f for some thing but I don't remember what it was. I just remember her giving it to me. It says music is the language of the soul and then it also says the same thing in like all the different languages. So there's like Chinese and like Arabic and like other languages that I can't uh, identify or Spanish right there I think all you have to do is look behind me you see all these musical instruments this one I don't play but the other two I do Madeline, it's awesome I'm gonna learn how to play one day like don't worry I'm a musical person I also sing so that's the significance of that mug cup number five that I'm gonna show you is not a mug it's a tr well it's a travel mug I guess my sister got me this I had her friend custom make this with her little like special machine for me. So it has my initials on it and it has a book, which is really cool. And then on the back it says, I am a bookaholic and I regret nothing, which is like one of the most truest statements of my life. That was a terrible sentence. One of the most true statements of my life there. I love this thing and it works really well and it keeps my coffee like amazingly hot for a long time, which is perfect for me because someone that knows me in person knows it takes me a lifetime to drink a cup of coffee. Like mug number seven, is this beautiful mug. My other sister bought me this mug for my birthday one year, a couple years ago. And this is one of the most beautiful mugs that I have ever seen in my life. It is so like fancy. I really love the shape of it. Um, it almost reminds you of like a gigantic like teacup. It says Jesus and coffee on it in gold. And gold is one of my favorite colors ever. And I love this one. And the inside and the handle is like this mint green, I guess you would call it. I would call it a mint green. It's like a very light pastel -y mint green. So pretty, so fancy. I'm sure it was probably pretty expensive. That same sister that got me the Jesus and Coffee mug also made me this mug. This might be the first mug that I actually owned myself because I got this years and years and years ago. She, this is back when my favorite color was yellow. 
and she bought this one and then wrote on it she put good morning sunshine on one side and then the other side it has um a quote or i think these are actually song lyrics but it says with flowers in her hair and grace in her heart she followed the instructions and like did all this stuff that was supposed to like make it like to where the sharpie wouldn't come off when i like used it and washed it and stuff but it didn't work and it started coming off like the first time like I washed it even though I was very careful. I don't use this one to drink out of anymore because of that because I want it to last and I don't want the letters to come off. So I use this and just put like pencils and uh, stuff like that in it and it's sitting on my desk. So I've had this one for years. I love this mug so much and then she signed it on the bottom it says love you always Angelina. Mug number nine I'm pretty sure that we are on is one of my favorite mugs of all time it's very unique different from all of the other ones and i love this one so much and when i got it i like freaked out which my sister thought was hysterical this is a sister that got me the travel mug oh my gosh this mug is amazing okay i love pineapples and i collect things that have pineapples on them when my birthday before last she got this for me and like i like i said i like flipped out it was amazing and it's so cute it is like it doesn't just have a pineapple on it like the mug is the pineapple like it's amazing and like the handle is like yeah and then it's like all bumpy like the texture of a pineapple and it's amazing and i love this thing the only thing is i don't actually get to drink out of it that often because it is very fragile this is not like a super duper sturdy cup and it says it's dishwasher and microwave safe that's a joke. If your mug says that, like, it's probably not true. There's very few mugs. Any cute mugs out there are not dishwasher or microwave safe. I don't care what the bottom of the mug has printed on it. The cute mugs, you gotta wash by hand. Like, it's all a lie. I do not want to keep using this and risk it shattering because I would be devastated. Like, I would probably cry. I would be so sad. So I have this on my desk and I keep my paint brushes in it. On rare occasion, I will um, wash it out and drink out of it. Mug number 10. This is the largest mug that I own by far. Believe it or not, I've seen bigger. I just don't own a bigger one. I love this one. It says stand tall and be sweet. My sister got me this one. The sister that got me the handmade one and the Jesus and coffee one. So wait, I think she got me this one. Yeah. As you can see, I keep all my bookmarks in here because I have quite the collection. I have a lot. This one is very like sturdy and durable and this would be a good one to use. It's just so big and I have so many mugs in the kitchen cabinets already. We really didn't have room for this one, but it works really good to hold my bookmarks. Mug number 11. This one says life is sweet and again it has pineapples on it and this one's amazing. I just got this one my last birthday from Levi. I love the color scheme on this one the pink pineapples all over it, and the gold. The gold is my favorite color, it's so pretty. I want everything to be gold. But it has like the gold handle, and like gold around the rim. Big mugs make me happy. And it's just so cute, and I love it. So. Mug number 12, I had this mug, this particular mug, coming in the mail when my friend suggested that I do this video. So I was like, I have to wait till this mug gets here. I ordered this off of Etsy, and like, okay, you might be one of those people that thinks this mug is like, stupid and like ugly and like why would you own this i'll just show you and let you make your own judgment you might hate it or you might think it's as amazing as i think it is but the mug is my sister and dad both said this doesn't look like the guy that it's supposed to be so if i didn't tell them they wouldn't have known who it was supposed to be i still love it anyway even if it doesn't look like the guy but it says right here lavar burton if you don't know who that is maybe this will help you take a look it's in a book reading rainbow this is a bookish show from my childhood it used to come on pbs kids which was like my channel growing up and i loved it when i was a kid and he was the host on the show maybe this is where my love of books stemmed from like, i thought it was the cutest thing when i saw it and i was just like oh my gosh i have to have this like, i have 12 coffee mugs that's not excessive at all come in are you video of your coffee mugs yes christopher suggested it who am i to disappoint
Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my coffee mug collection because I enjoyed showing you. And join me next time for another whatever kind of video, be it a bookish ramblings or another like show and tell thing. You guys have a great day. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye. Guys, I am like almost positive that I got her this cup. Like, I could have sworn I got her this one. Why are you doing <laughs> <laughs> I got you this one. <laughs> I'm almost positive I got you this one. Okay. I'm pretty sure Delana got it for me, but no. I don't know.